Place your shower curtain hooks on the rod. If you're using hooks that have some sort of decoration or embellishment, make sure the decoration side is facing out into the bathroom, not inward facing the shower. These also come in ring form. The rings snap open and closed easily. Unsnap to open them, hang them on the rod, but do not snap them close them yet. Once you have the rings on the rod, make sure that they fit properly and slide easily along the curtain rod. Most come in standard sizes that fit most curtain holes and rods, but if you're using hooks, rings that are very large or very small, you may want to measure the size of the holes before you buy rings to make sure they will fit. Line up the left edge of your liner and your curtain. Make sure the curtain is on top of the liner, closest to you. The liner will go beneath it. Find the holes on the top left edge of both pieces and line the holes up so that one ring can pass through both holes. Liners are usually clear plastic and they act as a barrier between the shower and the curtain. Liners aren't required, but they are practical and commonly used, especially with shower curtains that are made of fabric that isn't waterproof. Thread the shower curtain rings through the curtain and liner. Starting from the left side, thread one ring through the holes of both the curtain and the liner. Then move on to the next hole, repeating the same process. Continue threading until all 12 rings have been threaded through all 12 holes. If you are using curtain rings, snap each ring closed after you thread it through. Double check that the liner is on the wet side of the shower and the curtain is on the dry side, facing out into the bathroom. Confirm that the rod is sturdy and the curtain slides easily. Arrange the curtain and liner as you normally would, and take a close look. Is the rod easily supporting their weight? Give a little tug, if necessary, to test the tension. Then slide the curtain open, testing that the hooks move easily down the rod. If the rod cannot support the weight, you may need to get a longer or more sturdily built tension rod. If the curtain and liner aren't sliding easily down the rod, you may need bigger hooks to properly fit the rod.